Ovarian cysts can be quite painful and they could cause bloating and also interrupt your natural menstrual cycle. And it's causing you to worry or just feel really bothered by them. You have asked the doctor about your options and perhaps they've said to wait it out, see how things develop, or maybe recommended birth control, or maybe ultimately having keyhole surgery to help it be removed. But you're really not sure about these kind of options. You'd love to find out a more natural way to release your cysts and to relieve you of the problems that you're facing right now. Well, the good news is there is a way to help you naturally relieve your ovarian cysts and I'm going to explain it to you in this video. Hi, I'm Vicky from Oh My Mama Body. I really love helping you to understand your body, what's going on inside of your body so that you can really feel great and confident about yourself once more. If you're new to my channel, thank you for finding me and watching this video and please do subscribe to get even more great help, tips and advice. I totally understand what it feels like to have an ovarian cyst. During my own fertility journey, it was picked up at one point that I had an ovarian cyst, which caused me to worry about it because I thought it was gonna prevent me from getting pregnant. And when the doctors first looked at it, they were like, oh, you've got a cyst. Maybe you'll have to think about what you do with it. And it just really caused a lot of anxiety. My mind thinking about all sorts of scenarios that could possibly be involved with this cyst. We all do it, don't we? We build up those stories inside of our heads. And when you look at the alternatives that doctors offer you, perhaps it just doesn't sit right with you. You're the kind of person who would like to try out alternative techniques before maybe going down the road of birth control, hormonal regulation, or perhaps even surgery. Now, of course, it's always important to go for regular checkups and have things looked into by a medical expert. And at the same time, you can still look into other natural methods as well. And what I'm talking about is womb connection. So I'm talking about the energy that's within our womb space. And being interested in natural therapies, I'm sure you understand with yoga, the natural flow of energy and how it flows through our different chakra levels. And it's very connected with our womb energy as well. You know, our core femininity, our center of femininity is our womb. It's an amazing vessel of creation and we're all absolutely gifted to be able to bring life into this world. And which means our womb carries a lot of emotion, perhaps trauma, feelings, past history. It will even carry things connected to our mothers, our grandmothers, because we were in the womb of our mother. She was in the womb of our grandmother. Whilst she was in the womb of her grandmother, her eggs were already developing and we are one of those eggs that was inside our mother, inside her grandmother. So there's a huge connection to what's been passed down as well from grandmother to mother to us. And how is that then connected with ovarian cysts? When ovarian cysts show up in your womb space, it's a sign from your body that there's imbalance and that there's blockages. And those blockages can be healed and released with energy healing. So with my womb connection, I guide you to connect into your womb, to feel the energy flow within your womb space, to be able to identify with your womb and recognize where you have blockages and to be able to understand what is behind those blockages. And this is the real key to womb healing because when you connect with those blockages and find out what is in that cyst, is it a feeling, is it an emotion, is it past trauma, is it something that's been handed down through generations that you are holding on to now? Once you're able to identify that, you can start releasing it. If you're holding on to past pain and trauma, you can look into that situation. I help guide you with that, looking into that situation and releasing that situation with forgiveness and love. 
Now, some women are actually quite uneasy about going into this, about what they could be uncovering. And just know it is so good to go through that release. And often it is so that we're holding on to much more than we ever even realized, which means it feels absolutely amazing when we then let go and release. I compare it to carrying around a heavy rucksack filled with bricks. You didn't even realize you were carrying it around. And then gradually, as you go through the room healing and the release, you're taking one brick out at a time. And by the time you've been through and done maybe some self room healing on yourself using my guide, or I've helped support you as well. By the time you've lifted out all those bricks, imagine you're going to be flying. Your arms are going to feel so light if you take off that rucksack. And that's how your body, mind and your soul feels as well. You step into that natural feminine flow. It really helps you to identify with who you are inside because you're removing any blockages that have been stopping your flow. It's amazing what happens and what transforms inside of you. As you connect with that flow, you feel more energy, you connect with your creativity, the woman you are inside, and you feel absolutely